We are joined tonight by Danielle's grandmother. Um, first of all, my condolences. My heart goes out to you and your family. You have been through hell. You told Thank us. You, Johnny. Yes. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And I look at this beautiful woman and and your your granddaughter, young lady, and to think that she is gone in this fashion, it's heartbreaking. You told it is us unbelievable. Yes, it's unbelievable. Absolutely. You told us a few weeks ago that you met Danielle's boyfriend, this this young man who's now suspected of killing her, that he even stayed over at your house and that, that you spoke correct. to him for a long time to try to see if he was good material to date your granddaughter. Uh, what was your reaction when you found out that he was charged? Uh, I was sick to my stomach, and I, I just could not believe it. But now, you know, her family has to be Danielle's voice, and we demand justice for Danielle. What happened to her? No, nothing could explain this away. And, you know, I'm not 100% sure that it wasn't premeditated. I just feel in my heart that there's something else we don't know. Well, absolutely. Uh, and let me explain to our viewers for a second. Prosecutors have charged this young man, the 17-year-old Jamichael Malloy, with second-degree murder, which would imply a crime of passion instead of first-degree murder, which would be premeditated. The family says they don't agree with that charge. They think it should be more. Murder one. Listen. It's been a month-long nightmare, and I feel like this is, they've been around us. They've been in our home. He's walked with us in searches. We're disgusted. I don't agree with the second degree murder charge. You know, we're hurt by that. He, I feel like he, he planned, planned all of this. He, he had threatened her. So, out to the lion's dead. Did prosecutors make the right decision by only charging with murder two? And I want to go to Kimberly Priest Johnson, criminal defense attorney. Um, he's allegedly stuck a sock in his girlfriend's mouth. That means, and that was done, I would think, undoubtedly, before she died, that's the point. So in the process of sticking a gun, in, a, a, a sock in somebody's mouth, you have an opportunity to reflect. And then if you proceed to choke them, as authorities say he choked uh, Danielle, wouldn't that be premeditated? I agree with you, Jane. I will say I'm very surprised by the charge. I would expect it to be a first degree murder charge. We talk about this often on your, on your show. You know, you don't have to have a long period of time to plan the murder of someone. It can be a split-second decision of, I'm going to murder this person. And it sounds like that's what we have in this case. And so I completely agree with the family. I would like to see a first-degree murder charge in this case. 